Hey guys, it's me Sahar. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a reading vlog for the entire Brown Sisters trilogy by Talia Hibbert. This includes Get a Life, Chloe Brown, Take a Hint, Danny Brown, and Act Your Age, Eve Brown. I am so excited to finally be reading these adult contemporary romances. I've heard so many good things about them and I just feel like everyone has read them and I have yet to do so. So I decided I would film my reaction to these books and kind of see what the hype is about, kind of taste test all of the romance booktubers that I follow and just give the series a shot. This video will contain spoilers, just FYI. If you haven't read these books, probably don't watch this video unless you don't mind being spoiled. And if you've read only like a few out of the series, uh, you can feel free to just watch the vlog footage for the ones that you have already read and kind of avoid spoilers for the one that maybe you haven't. So I don't want this intro to be too long, so let's just go ahead and jump right in to the reading vlog. So it is actually April 22nd, so I started Get a Life, Chloe Brown yesterday and I'm about halfway through and I wanted to check in and give you guys an update. I did film a vlog clip last night, but it was on my phone and I just didn't like the lighting. I didn't like the whole, whole setup, which is not something that I wanted to include in this vlog. So I'm just going to rehash what I said in that and we'll just kind of go from there. So I basically stopped at a very steamy, steamy scene. So... It was the very first smut scene in Get a Life, Chloe Brown, where her and Red are out in public and things are happening. And um, quite frankly, I'm a little uncomfortable. I'm not used to reading smut at all. I don't think I've actually ever read smut, like at least not this kind, if that makes sense. Uh, so this is very, very new to me. It's a little weird for me I'm just not used to it and it's gonna take me a while to like get used to it so I had to put the book down not like DNF or anything I just had to like set it down for the night and pick it back up this morning because I was getting really flustered reading it I don't know how I feel about the smut it's definitely a me thing there's nothing wrong with the book in that aspect I just I'm no um but that's kind of where I, I left off uh, last night since I started the book. But as for kind of my thoughts on it, so I am over the 50% mark already. So I can give you guys kind of my rating prediction as well. So right now I'm thinking this first one is going to be a three stars. Just because I feel like I didn't really feel connected to our characters' relationship in the beginning it just i mean we have chloe who gets into this accident and then it just kind of flashes forward to two months later and she's already moved out she's in this new flat and she has already established her relationship with red and not a romantic relationship but just like she knows him they already had their original interaction we never got to see that and so seeing their romance develop from there was a little bit hard for me to connect to and feel invested in just because it felt like I skipped like five or six chapters of the book when really I didn't. So that is something that it it kind of hindered my experience just getting into the book. But now that I'm over the halfway point, I am enjoying the relationship. I'm liking where it's going. But there's just something about this story that's not doing it for me. I'm not bored by any means, but I just want something more. I want to feel more invested in our characters. I want to root for them, but right now I'm just not. I feel very disconnected and I think it definitely has to do with my issues that I talked about about the beginning of the book and how the relationship kind of started. So that's kind of where my head is at right now. Uh, I'm about to get back to reading on my iPad because I just finished editing my Shadow and Bone vlog, which you should totally check out. I will leave a link in the cards and down below and just everywhere. Um, but while that's kind of exporting and I'm waiting for it to upload, I think I'm going to read some more of Chloe Brown. I'm definitely going to be finishing it tonight and I'll give you guys my final rating thoughts and then we'll jump into Danny Brown. I feel like I should also mention the fact that they were literally doing things out in public. 
Like y'all, please get a room. Y'all literally live in the same freaking apartment complex. You can go home, like it'll be fine. You can wait like 10 minutes to get back and get a room and do whatever y'all need to do, but don't, don't do it in public. That is just, I was so uncomfortable reading that scene and I just finished reading the smutty scene and her freaking aunt showed up. How embarrassing is that? Literally, if you guys were in an apartment, this would not have happened. Come on, Chloe, get a brain. Don't get a life, get a brain. Okay, I finished Get a Life, Chloe Brown last night and I ended up giving it a three out of five stars. Uh, I kind of just had the same issues that I was talking about in the previous clips with the beginning. I feel like a lot of the conflicts that Chloe and Red faced resolved way too easily and they weren't really that large of conflicts. Like they're very small, not petty things, but just things that seemed irrelevant to me. Like I just, I didn't understand why either of them would be mad at those things and whatever. Like I just, I don't know. I was having a hard time understanding why the conflict was such a big deal. And that was really the only barrier in their entire relationship. So I was kind of not feeling it at that point. But aside from that, it was a solid read, a good, decent contemporary romance book. And I'm still glad that I read it. And then I started Take a Hint, Danny Brown. I started it last night and you guys, I'm already enjoying it so much more than Chloe Brown. I love Zaf's character. I think he's so, so sweet. And just the way that he's in love with Danny basically is so adorable. And I don't know. I mean, like more power to her for being a girl who just wants like one night stands and nothing serious, like nothing wrong with that in my opinion. But, um, it's just so sweet that he's like, I want like a happily ever after and she's just not that girl for me, but he's still like in love with her and he like, guys, he gives her her like protein bar every single morning before work because he knows that she's a vegetarian and she does not take care of her health. Not that those two are like correlated in any way, but um, she like doesn't take care of her health and everything. And it's just, it's so freaking adorable. So I'm loving it already. I think this is definitely going to be a step up from Chloe Brown for me. And I think it's going to make this vlog very interesting because I think I'm going to have very different opinions of Chloe Brown versus Danny Brown. And I honestly don't know what um, actor age Eve Brown is about. So we're going to find out when we get there. But before I kind of close out this vlog clip, you guys, I got a freaking bookshelf for my apartment which is so exciting it was like super cheap like 30 dollars from walmart because i didn't want to like spend a lot of money on it but i just needed a place to keep all of my books and you guys they all fit so nicely in there and it just looks so cute next to my bed and i'm so so happy it's also going to be my new like filming background which is gonna be so fun i'm so so excited like i'm so happy i finally got a bookshelf i had this one shelf that was just it was cramped with books like just had piles and piles of books just like stuffed in there and there was no rhyme or reason to why certain books were in certain stacks like it was just there but i just feel so much more organized and just so much neater and more professional like professional booktuber-esque uh with this new shelf so just kind of wanted to shout it out and show it off a little bit. Okay, I'm over halfway through Take a Hint, Danny Brown. I'm about 100 pages out from finishing, actually, and I think I'm just going to stay up and finish it tonight. It's already midnight, but I really want to know how it ends, which kind of shows that I'm actually really, really enjoying this one. I am loving the sexual tension between the two characters. I love the whole, like, fake dating aspect. Zafir is honestly the sweetest, sweetest human being. Like, I love him so much. I love Danny's, like, spunk. I love her devotion to her work. And just, I'm I'm really, really enjoying this one. I'm so happy. It is so much better than um, Chloe Brown, in my opinion. I, I just think that the chemistry is there. And I'm really understanding why these two people are so good for each other and supposed to be together and that's something i didn't 
feel in Chloe Brown. I never fully felt the chemistry between the two characters or the tension or anything like that. And that's definitely heavily prevalent in this second book. So I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, also really tired though, so I'm not going to make this clip too long. Just wanted to update that I have 100 pages left and I'm really liking the book. I just finished Dick and Danny Brown, but I am so tired that I'm about to head to sleep. So I will tell you guys all my thoughts and opinions in the morning. Okay, it's the next day and I wanted to give kind of my thoughts on both Take a hint, Danny Brown, and also actor age, Eve Brown, at least how much I've read of it so far. So we'll start with Danny Brown's. As y'all saw, I finished that last night and I ended up giving it four out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed that one. I thought that their relationship dynamic was so, so sweet. I loved Zaf. He was literally the kindest human being ever. I love him so much and he just deserves the world and I just loved seeing Danny's character development going from being so closed off from a relationship and just not being able to let anyone in to being someone who wants to put in this effort to make someone else happy and wants to work on compromises and understanding what the other person wants. It was just, it was really fun to watch. It was really, really sweet to read and I had a pretty good time. It did drag for me at some points. I didn't absolutely love the entirety of the story, which is why I couldn't give it a full five stars, but it was definitely better than Chloe Brown in my opinion and I just overall did enjoy the plot and the story and it was pretty well written so that those are kind of my thoughts on take a hint danny brown now as for actor age eve brown i'm not liking it like at all i was enjoying it in the beginning i'm about 200 pages in so i have like 130 pages left of the ebook and it just seems to be going downhill uh I liked it in the beginning. I really liked Eve's personality. I think she has a lot of spunk to her, a lot of energy, a lot of uh, childishness, but not necessarily in a negative way. Like I'm enjoying reading her childlike character and I really, really like the plot. I think it's very interesting to see her being kind of cut off from her parents and having to find her own work and stumbling across this like chef job at this um bread and breakfast and it's really cute it's a really sweet plot line but i feel absolutely no connection no chemistry between eve and jacob i don't like jacob's character that much i it just he's so I don't know he kind of did a complete 180 on me like he was very very rude in the beginning and then it, it felt like I flipped the page and all of a sudden he was trying to be friends with Eve and I it just it didn't seem realistic to me and this kind of loose enemies to lover situation is also not very believable they seem like they have a good friendship dynamic but I'm not seeing the romance part of it like I'm really not feeling it it's not there for me and especially the part that I just read I just got to kind of their first sexual encounter and the whole scene just made me so uncomfortable like that is not how I wanted the romance to go that is not how I wanted them to turn from enemies to friends to lovers it just it's not what I was looking for in this and just the whole scene was just so weird and it was just weirdly written it wasn't like the complete smut scene i haven't gotten to that part yet like they're about to kiss um so i've read everything up to their first kiss and so it wasn't like the smut scene but it was kind of like the preamble to it and it was just so weird that he just randomly like is sitting on her dildo and now they're talking about like their fantasies and like i'm just like, why is this a conversation that we're having right now? Like, y'all hate each other like 50 pages ago. I just, I don't get it. I'm not liking it. Right now, 
I'm thinking it's gonna be like a two stars for me. It's really not doing it. Honestly, just the overarching plot line and Eve's spunky personality are what's holding me back from giving it a one star. Like I really am not enjoying this, but I have like 130 pages left, so I'm gonna stick it out and finish the book and hopefully it surprises me. Hopefully I fall in love with Jacob and just the romance, but right now, not for me. It's no. <laughs> Okay, so I just finished Actor Age Eve Brown and I think I'm gonna give it a two out of five stars like I said in the last clip because I really did not like this book. I'm gonna start with a few things that I did like because you know, start with the positives and make this a little bit less sad than I think it will be for a lot of people. So I really, really enjoyed the setting. I thought that the bed and breakfast little cottage vibes was really cute and it just made me feel very homey and very small town-esque and I really appreciated that in the book. I thought it played really well with the overall story and speaking of the story, I really liked the plot. I liked how we have Eve kind of going in and finding this job as a chef and trying to act her age and grow up and prove that she can get a job and she can stick with it and she can you know, be a 20 something year old and just get her life together. So I enjoyed that aspect as well. However, those are pretty much the only things that I really enjoyed in this book. I did not like the romance at all. I thought there was absolutely no chemistry there. I thought that they just didn't really fit right in my head. And especially when it came to the point where Jacob and Eve both realized that they love each other, I just didn't see it. I didn't feel that from them. I didn't feel the love coming off through the pages. And it just didn't make me feel invested in their story at all. I also wasn't particularly a fan of Jacob himself. I didn't love his character. There's nothing really special about him to me and so it made it a little bit harder also for me to see why Eve loved him and then the whole transition from kind of dislike at first sight to love just didn't connect it didn't click and it didn't feel very realistic so overall the romance just didn't really do it for me there are a lot of scenes that made me very uncomfortable a lot of smut I just wasn't a fan of and Although I'm not used to reading Smut, and so that definitely played into it a little bit, I was definitely a lot more comfortable in Chloe Brown and Danny Brown reading those Smut scenes. For some reason, Eve Brown just did not sit right with me. So, yeah, those are kind of my overall thoughts on Actor Age, Eve Brown, 2 out of 5 stars. And that kind of concludes this video. So just to recap, I gave Get Alive, Chloe Brown, 3 out of 5 stars. Take a hint, Danny Brown, four out of five stars, and actor age Eve Brown, two out of five stars. So overall, this trilogy was kind of just okay for me. I definitely think it's overhyped. And if you're thinking about picking up a book in the series, I would definitely only recommend Danny Brown. That one was for sure my favorite, and I think the only one really worth the read, which seems harsh, but I really did not like particularly like the other two, so. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to kind of learn my thoughts and insights on the three books. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.